Hi, my name is Nathan Adams, and this is a Blender tutorial from Shembol Studio. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create a ramp object for a skateboard park, say if you want to do it in a game, for example. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to delete this default cube. Delete key, OK. All right, now we're going to add, by hitting the space bar, add mesh plane. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do is just get into our edit mode by hitting the tab key. And then let's scale it up by 10. All right. And then we're going to subdivide this plane. So hit W, subdivide. And then let's deselect all the vertices by pressing the A key. And then we're going to select just these vertices right here and we're going to delete those vertices okay now the next thing we'll do is let's get out of our edit mode by pressing tab get back into my program here tab there we go add modifier mirror and we're going to do it along the X and the Y axis now I'm going to show you what this is going to what I'm going to do in the 3D view. So I'm just orbiting around. All right. And then let's hit our tab key. And then the next thing I'm going to do is subdivide this object just along these sides right here. So if we hit control tab, get our edges and control left click and we can lasso select those. And then let's, do, uh, let's subdivide by hitting W, subdivide. Let's do it a couple of times just so we get a good amount of edges to work with. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll select this edge only, and we're going to turn on our proportional editing. And we can do that by going down to here or by pressing the O key, whichever you prefer. Now you'll notice that this, ob this option comes up, proportional edit fall off. Okay, so looking at it, our default is smooth fall off. Now, if we were just to pull it up like this right now, just with the smooth fall off, take a look at what it does. Not exactly what we want for our skateboard, uh, our ramp object, right? So let's get let's get rid of that option, and we're going to change it from smooth fall off to sharp fall off, and then. Using the sharp fall off, we're able to immediately see that we get more of our desired effect that we want to get this uh, to get this ramp object. Okay, so there we go. And now the reason why I decided to mirror it both ways, the x and the y axis, is because I can actually select these all. Uh, I alt right clicked there, and now I can widen it as I need. Or I can also edit it this way as I need. So if I want to make a really steep suicidal skateboard ramp for my skateboarders, I have that option available. Or if I, I just want to add more people onto it, you know, allow more people to go onto it. There we go. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, our next step is to extrude these faces downward. Okay. Actually, the first the first thing that we need to do is we need to extrude this. So let's extrude by hitting the E key, and we're going to do it along the Y axis. So we hit Y, and then let's do. Doesn't matter how much. Okay. Now let's select everything by deselecting first with the A, and then hitting the A again, and then hit E for extrude region and we're going to do this along the z-axis okay alright so there we go now let's just select this edge right here and shift s 4 to snap your cursor to that specific location and then taking all these faces just on the bottom so we can actually do it just with the edges select all these edges down here What we'll do is we're going to change our pivot mode 
from this median one, uh, from median point into 3D cursor. And that way, we can set that as our base point where we're going to scale. Because we're going to scale by pressing S. Well, first of all, we need to turn off that proportional editing, so let's get O. All right, now let's get S, Z, because we're just scaling along the Z axis, and get zero. And what that'll do is that'll flatten it nicely. All right, so there we have a half pipe ramp object. All right, so we can deselect that by pressing A, tab out, and we'll set smooth. Yeah, I know it looks really funky. And you can see it right there, there's an extra face that we need to get rid of. Just tab back in. Go to our face selection mode. All right, we're getting rid of that one. Delete faces. And we also need to do that on the same along with this. Now, this is a nice, easy way to do this. We can get linked flat faces by pressing Control Alt Shift F. And then we hit OK. And there's all of our linked flat faces that we can now delete. Delete faces. There we go. Okay. Another thing I didn't do is I didn't put the do clipping option on. Okay. That way I can keep the things that are, I can keep the edges that are actually right at the very edge uh, where the mirror points are uh, at their actual location. Okay. So there we go. We have we have a nice uh, ramp object. So it looks all right, but there are some more details that we could add in. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just go into our tab menu here? Okay, and let's give this a nice lip to go with it. So let's get Control R to get. To get a nice loop cut, and hit enter, okay, and then we'll just take it up to the top of this. Just slide it up there, okay. All right, and now our next thing we'll do is that we are going to get all those by getting Alt right click on one of the edges of the faces, and then let's extrude this out. So hit extrude. Actually, before we do that, I just want it on just this, just this side right here. Let's just get extrude region. Okay, about there. That'll give us kind of a little lip to go with. So, okay. So there we have a nice lip on it. And then we can also do the same for this one. Extrude region Y. Okay. And there's something for you to base a nice simple ramp object that you can put into your game simulations. And if you hit the P key, then you should have something to go with. So there's a nice ramp object to play with. So enjoy modeling this. This is a very quick tutorial. And uh, tell me what you think of this. Was this useful? And, and if there's anything that you would really like to see done, um, let me know. And, and, I'll, uh, and I'll try to post something for you. So this is Nathan Adams from Shemble Studio, signing off.